I greet you guys, welcome you to another video and good news to you. So Prophet Angel gave another update concerning America's election. Let's watch. Look at what's happening in America now. That the party that thinks a boy is a girl is supported by Christians. Mental sickness, mental diarrhea. How do you support a political party that says a boy is a girl and allows men to compete with women as long as they declare that they are female yet they are males the last olympics they brought this guy who won is a boy he beat up a woman and the gold medal went to the men who beat up a woman in a women's competition it's no longer boxing. It's now what? Domestic violence. The men that were number 1,000 in boxing are now number one. You know what happened? Why it went like that? It's because of you women. You did not even think it was necessary to remove this nonsense of we have the same, we are the same, we are equal. We're not. We're different. In our creation you are higher in other subjects we are lower in other subjects men are higher in other subjects you're lower in other subjects so you said you needed equal rights to have the equal opportunities then men changed and they said there were no women they said let's fight <laughs> now women are taking gold men are taking gold medals that should be won by women and guess what who is the biggest liar in all this feminists the same people that said we represent women are the ones that are campaigning for these men to be accepted as women i'm seeing congress women coming out and saying yes men can also give birth look at me stupidity gone on rampage how a congresswoman would sit there and a congressman asked the question ma'am what is a woman she says um scientifically um hey. let me give you an answer your mama your mother is a woman full stop don't move around trying to figure out what a woman is just answer my mother is a woman now your your uncle is also a woman and as long as the pulpit is still entertaining such nonsense we will not have rain makers I will send you what? Rain. Ask for what? Rain. In the what? The days of letter rain. How can it be days of letter rain? And there is no rain. He says, ask it. It is the days of the letter rain. But ask for rain. These are the days of the what? The letter rain. But what do you ask? You still ask for rain. Are you flowing? So we got a problem where we have people that I don't understand that when it comes to the period of the letter rain, rain is there, but we still need some people who can bring it up from a certain location. Wherever you are, raise your hands. I welcome you, my most loved family, to our good news prophetic daily devotional message for today by the prophet to christianity highly esteemed prophet hubert angel and the president of the good news world madam prophetess bb angel this is a prophetic word for you and the messages i share with you constantly they are the messages of the hour and today's topic or title is be combative be combative so our anchor scripture is taken from the book second book of timothy chapter 4 verse 7 reading from the king james bible i have fought a good fight i have finished my course i have kept the faith one of the many characteristics of being a soldier is the aptitude 
to always be ready when called to duty. A good soldier's readiness for battle on any day, week, month, or year suggests that battle readiness or preparedness is a lifestyle. A soldier on the battlefield must be in the mood to kill or to be killed. There is no neutrality as a man of war. A Christian must understand that he is on the battlefield. As such, he must be ready to please the one who enlisted him, that is King Jesus. Jesus said, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he might give it you. That's John chapter 15, verse 16. This is our mandate go out, win more souls, and the souls who want should abide or remain. Therefore, take evangelism seriously. Your assignment in ministry seriously and your prayer life seriously you are on a battlefield and anything and every weapon needed to win the war must be mastered and developed let's take the last paragraph again this is our mandate go out and win more souls and the source one should abide or remain therefore take evangelism seriously your assignment in ministry seriously your prayer life seriously you are on a battlefield and anything and every weapon needed to win the war must be mastered and deployed so let's read our prophetic declaration for today you follow me you read with me or join me as i read i am a soldier for christ my desire is to do the will of the one i serve king jesus is my boss praise the lord hallelujah amen so for further reading and for further studies you read the book of acts of the apostles chapter 20 verse 24 and our 365 d bible reading challenge your scripture my scripture our scripture for today is taken from the gospel of luke chapter 19 so thank you for joining me as we read the good news prophetic daily make sure you don't waste the message make sure you distribute the message make sure that every copy of the good news daily with you is distributed to friends to family to loved ones don't be a waste of the message be a distributor of the message remember the words of the prophet our cic says that the good news prophetic daily is a prophet in writing it's a what a prophet in writing so as you are sharing it you are distributing it what it means is that you are prophesying. You are prophesying. God bless you for making time to join me. And good news to you. Good news to you.